Hi, my name is Cassandra McClure, and I'm a clean beauty artist, entrepreneur, and podcaster. And today I'm going to show you how to get a clean, no makeup makeup. So to start, we're going to be using a foundation, but instead of a full coverage foundation, we'll be using a tinted moisturizer. So today I'm going to be sharing the Sheer Tinted Moisturizer by Rejuva Minerals. I'll be using my fingers today and working the product in with my beauty blender. So to start out with a tinted moisturizer, you'll wanna start where you need the most coverage, which is for me around the center of my nose, um, my lips um, and under eye area. So I'll work the product out like that. The key and trick to no makeup makeup is to not put it in places that you don't need. I don't really need it on my cheeks because my cheeks are fine. If you have any blemishes, that's when you'll go in with a concealer. So for me, I have a little tiny spot right here and another one here. And the reason why I put a lot like that is because I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and I'm gonna show you a trick. So I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes We'll wait a couple seconds and then just work the product in by patting, not by swiping, or you'll take the product away from where you just wanted it. And if you go too far up near your eye line, you're, that's when the wrinkles start to happen. That's when the fine lines where the product stays in those. So you wanna make sure you use as minimal product as possible, especially when you're trying to achieve a no makeup makeup. Step number two is powder. So any powder will do, you can, skip powder, but to make sure that it's going to stay on all day, it's nice to also reduce the shine in the middle of your nose, chin, and forehead as well. So today I'm gonna be using Gabriel Cosmetics. This compact actually comes with a powder puff inside that you can use, so I'll be showing you that today. So how you use a powder puff is just pressing it into the powder, and then bringing it onto your face where you need it. This is going to mattify, meaning reduce and take away shine. So I wanna do that under my eyes, on the tip of my nose, and just a little bit on my forehead as well. I wanna go around my nose and a little bit on my chin. Next, I'm going to be using a blush. Again, if you have drier skin, you'll wanna use a cream blush like I am. If you have oilier skin, you'll be using something with more of a powder. So I'm going to be using Frilliance. I'm going to be taking a little bit of this cream right on my hand, and as you can see, you can barely see the color, and this is a good color for no makeup makeup. Something that just enhances your natural rosy glow. So how you'll apply it is just use two fingers, work it in, Make sure it's nice on your skin and then you'll pat it, you'll smile and just put it right where your natural plump of your cheek is. So I also have a powder blush, again, in a very natural light shade. And all you'll need to do is use um, any little sponge or a brush and just pat it onto your cheeks just like that. Next, if you want to highlight and illuminate your face but still look really natural, you'll want to use an illuminating cream, otherwise called a highlighter. So again, you'll wanna apply it the same way, using two fingers and just lightly patting it on top of your cheekbones, wherever those might be. And if you would like to highlight your nose, if you have a smaller nose, then you would highlight here. If you'd like to highlight your lip a little bit more, you can highlight the bow of your lip just like that. So next, you might want to use an eyeliner. So I'm going to be using this Hint eyeliner and keeping the pencil as close to my lash line as possible to make sure that it stays looking very natural. What this does is makes the eye look like I have a thicker lash line. You don't want to actually see the eyeliner. That's why it comes with this little tip that blends it seamlessly so you can't tell that you're wearing any eyeliner. So next, we're going to be using mascara. So I have a couple different mascaras here. One is a waterproof mascara, so if you're going outside, if it's hot where you live, you plan on going in a pool or in the ocean, then you'll wanna use waterproof mascara so that when the water touches it, it doesn't actually bleed into your eye and irritate it. So this one is Rejuva Minerals Mega Lash. Remember, you shouldn't be using a waterproof mascara every day because it can damage your lashes over time. So use a regular mascara for day-to-day -day wear when you're not near 
near any water or sweating profusely or going to the gym. I'm going to be using the Hint Beauty Mascara. I'm just going to use the mascara to apply directly to the base of my lash, just wiggling very slowly, working my way out. Repeat that step each time in the new area. And for the ends, you'll want to rotate the brush up to get in the little hairs that are really hard to reach. Same thing for the bottom. You can just use the tip to enhance your eyelash line a little bit. You want all of your lashes to look individually perfect without any mascara or clumps stuck to them. If your mascara starts to look really clumpy, then you know it's time for a new mascara. So next, you'll want to use a lipstick or a lip gloss, depending on the look that you want. So this one has a little bit of a tint to it, again, to match my cheek. So I'm just gonna be applying a little tiny bit of gloss just in the center and popping my lips together. You can do your entire lip, but to make your lips look more plump, you'll apply it just in the center. I also have the Frilliance Clear Lip Gloss, which is fun, so if you aren't really looking for a color and your lips are already really pretty, then you can just use a clear too and enhance even more. Last but not least, you'll wanna use a setting spray or some sort of mist. I love them so, so much. This is a refreshing facial mist from Frilliance once again. So you'll just spray a little bit of that and that's gonna keep your makeup on all day. And this is how you achieve a beautiful, natural makeup look. Mm -hmm.